One challenge with COPD and any other chronic disease is that how do you tell if you're actually getting better over time? Or how do you tell uh, the noise of day-to-day -day variation, like day-to-day -day ups and downs, from the overall trajectory that how your disease and your symptoms are being controlled? One day you might have some more symptoms and one day might be better. And there's a lot of variation coming from the weather changes and all the ar environment around you. But there should be a way to track if you are making a difference from one month to another month and so on. So I would advise you to use two tools for your self-assessment. And I think this is a good way to be more empowered, to know what's going on with your disease and see the impact of the therapies, the treatments that you're doing. So let's say you started a new inhaler or you started going to pulmonary rehab or you bought our Pep Buddy and started using Pep Buddy for better breathing. And now you want to know if this is actually making a difference or not. So the two tools that we also use in clinical research to figure out if uh, treatments are working and if they have an impact on your life that I would suggest you to use would be a CAT score, COPD assessment test, and shortness of breath questionnaire developed by University of California, San Diego. So let's talk about them one by one. CAT score is an eight question survey in which you have to answer how your different symptoms are doing from zero to five. Five means they're not doing good and zero means they are in good control. So it talks about your coughing, your breathing, your phlegm, your sleep, your energy and other things to give you a score that you can then look at and see if it's getting better after your new therapies or your new interventions or just track your scores over time so that you can have a better conversation with your physicians about it. The second one is the shortness of breath questionnaire. So this one is a bit longer. It's about a three page questionnaire and it will ask you about how short of breath you would be if you were doing certain activities. Even if you're not doing those activities yourself in your daily routine, how would you feel if you were to do those activities? The total score can range from zero to 120 and the lower the score, the better it is. And if you start a new therapy, then you can see if there's a drop of five points or more, which means it's actually helping you. That's a clinically important difference. So I hope these two tools are going to be helpful for you to be self-empowered and figure out how do you measure success of your therapies and how do you track the condition of your breathlessness so that you can have a better conversation with your physicians and see if you need additional therapies to get better. Gain better control of your breathing through Pep Buddy your personal breathing coach.